And welcome to the JVNM Sports Fanatic channel, guys. And so here we go once again. This time I'm going to be doing the Miami Dolphins here and projecting their 2022-2023 NFL schedule. And of course, guys, if there's one thing we like about the NFL, it's the unpredictability. There's so many scenarios here. Obviously, new head coach, you know, Mike Daniels coming over from the San Francisco 49ers. You know, obviously, um, the Miami Dolphins last year, they struggle in a number of areas, you know, really having an identity on offense. Obviously, Jaden Waddle last year, that was a great um, thing for the Miami Dolphins to get him there. But this year, they went ahead, you know, revamped there, brought in Tyreek Hill to help give this offense some identity. Now, the question is going to be Tua Tungvaloa. Can he stay healthy? Can he make the plays? How strong is his arm? There's a lot of questions there. But obviously, last year, the Dolphins also struggled when it came to running the football, but they brought in an abundance of running backs in the backfield as well. So I expect to see the Dolphins look entirely different. But will it be enough? I Obviously, Buffalo's in the division. The Patriots, you know, last year made the playoffs. And so two teams right there, the Jets, had a very impressive um, draft. And, you know, I like what they've been doing the last couple of years in terms of improving that roster there. So we'll see how they fit. But without further ado, the guys, let's go ahead and just see how the uh, Miami Dolphins here. So as you can see already, um, you know, I had them beating the Patriots there week one. They seemed to do pretty good um, against the, the against the um, Patriots early in the season. Being at home there, you know, everybody would be as close to healthy as you're going to get throughout the season. I gave them that first win there. Then against the Baltimore Ravens here. And so I feel like Baltimore will win this game here. So Miami on the road there. I feel like it was more of a like nighttime, primetime type of game. Miami would win that. But um, going down to Baltimore this early in the season there, I expect Lamar Jackson to be on a mission here, especially if that contract's not paid yet. Um, and then week three, which is really the big test, you know, for Miami. You know, can they come out and beat the Buffalo Bills here in Miami? I just don't see it, guys. I just don't see it. I see Buffalo winning that game right there. And so, you know, pretty, stu pretty tough start right there for the um, Finns early on in this one. But then you've got Miami versus Cincinnati here on the road at Cincinnati on a Thursday game, I might add. I actually like the Dolphins' chances here. You know, I know a lot of people were saying, you know, Cincinnati's a team that could go to the Super Bowl there. But if you look at how they pretty much match up against them, I actually do like the Dolphins' chance on this one. I'm going to consider Cincinnati Bengals. Of course, the Bengals could win that one as well, but I'm going to go Miami there. So I have them starting off right now currently at, um, let's see, two and two. And so week five, going down to the Jets. And so I feel like going down into New York, I do like everything that New York has done. And so got to think about this one. I think I'm going to give this one to the Jets. Being at home, I think an upset does happen and that the Jets beat Miami. And so right now, you're probably concerned, like, what is this guy thinking right now? The Dolphins are not going to be bad. And so let's see, about week six, being at home against the Minnesota Vikings here, I think Miami wins that game. Week seven, that's a tricky one there. Dolphins and Steelers ultimately being at home here at Miami. I do feel that by week seven, you know, they'll probably have Kenny Pickett in the starting lineup by then for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But ultimately, I think the Dolphins find a way to win that game. Let's see, week eight going down to Detroit. I've got Miami there. Week nine against the Chicago Bears. I've got Miami winning that one as well. Week 10 against the Cleveland Browns. You know, obviously the question with Deshaun Watson, that's, you know, tough to call right there. But in the scenario where, let's just assume, you know, best case scenario, I would say this game right here, I would probably give the edge to, I'm going to say I'll give the edge to the Cleveland Browns here. They still have that duo in the backfield running the ball either way. And so I'll give that one to the Browns there. So right now, you know, they, they started getting on a bit of a win streak as of late. You know, I've only had them losing like two of the last six games um, up here on the schedule. So we'll go ahead and see. They'll have their bye week, week 11, come back against the Houston Texans in week 12. Got Miami winning that one. Week 13 down at San Francisco. And so Tua versus, will it be Trey Lance? Will it be Jimmy Garoppolo? But obviously, you know, going against his former team there in San Francisco, this is going to be a tough one to go down there in San Francisco. And when I feel like last year around this time is when San Francisco really started getting hot. Um, but again, then again, with Trey Lance in there at quarterback, I got to favor this defense versus a young quarterback there. So I'll go ahead and go Miami here. Um, then against the Chargers, I'm going to go Chargers here. Week 15 down there at Buffalo, I'm going to go Buffalo. Um, week 16 against the Packers, Dolphins versus Packers here. So 
Aaron Rodgers and company versus the Dolphins defense. Now, we did see how the San Francisco 49ers, how they have really stuck it to um, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers over the years. And so although um, the head coach is was on the offensive side as opposed to the defensive side there, I'm going to give this one to the Dolphins here. I'm going to give this one to the Dolphins. And so week 17 down in New England, I've got the Patriots winning that one. And then week 18 against the New York Jets, I'm going to go ahead and go Miami. So overall, I have the Miami Dolphins finishing 10 and 7 this upcoming season. I do have concern that towards the middle of the season, you know, with Tua's health, that he's going to be banged up. You know, can he really last the entire season? I have my questions about that. It's back up Teddy Bridgewater. Can he stay healthy if he were to go in there? I have some serious concerns there. But that being said, I do feel like the middle of the schedule is where Miami will do the most damage. Um, up until right when we're coming from that bye week, obviously Houston there. I can see them getting San Francisco. I can see San Francisco also winning that one as well. You know, Chargers, you know, they've been up and down. It just depends on, you know, what version of the Chargers you're getting that week. Um, Buffalo still Buffalo going down to New England late in the year. It's been a minute since the since the Dolphins have had to go down to New England in the cold. And so I feel like that's going to make a difference in that matchup right there. And so I could definitely see Miami winning up to about 12 games. Best case scenario. I could see that being the case. Um, but it's really going to depend on Tua Tungvaloa and how much you believe in him at the quarterback position. But, hey, these are my picks right here. I am by no means an expert whatsoever and stuff like that, but um, that is what I have for the Miami Dolphins this upcoming season, guys, 10 and 7. And so let me know your thoughts in terms of, you know, what do you project the Miami Dolphins to go? Give me your best case and your worst case scenario in terms of record-wise. And also be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel as well. And, hey, if you're sold on Tua Tungvaloa, let me know that as well in the comment section. And if not, then, hey, let me know that also. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next video.